What's going on? I'm Ed, and welcome to another episode of the Roco Bros. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on all platforms at Roco Bros. Today, I'll be doing the solo leveling reaction. Episode 6, episode 5, gave us a little bit more build-up. We slowed down from the height of episode 4. He's like, okay, he actually looked completely different. He's a whole different character now. The man is taller now. He done, um, he done got stronger and stuff in like 5 days. He basically on the workout plan that all of us wish we was all right. <laughs> You do a hundred push-ups a, a couple days, and then all of a sudden the whole physique just changed. That's what this man done unlocked. So now episode six, uh, he uh, he <laughs> he got done up by these folks. They they left him and all other dude alone to die. But then he about to beat this spider's ass, and then now you know we gonna see what it is and what it do. So let's go ahead and get into it. Man, it was just like, well, if he died, we can just take his stuff. It don't matter. What the hell no? I mean, like, but how are we, though? Because. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, ah, ah. Let's see. I mean, like, he do, it don't get the little sensor to come on here. What does that mean? Level 18. But they was having that little small conversation and this man was having this life or death fight. Bro, you shouldn't be worried about that when this dang spider is here in the first place, bro, because <laughs> you gonna die anyway. That's not good. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, you woo. Dang, it did nothing. It did nothing. <laughs> no. Bro, this man just, just sitting there. But he he's not going to be in use. Ain't they going to break no bones or nothing? Like, this is crazy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn. Yeah. He ain't there yet. Full recovery. How did he even get that? He got you now. My man. And got the status. <laughs> Paralysis. 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 Drain paralysis paralysis, <laughs> bruh. No, <laughs> he got him. They take all the mana crystals for yourself. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> they call Anaki now. <laughs> He's like, basically, hey, bro, I'll work for you so you don't kill me. Yeah, that. But it's like, you're not about to take this, so it don't really matter. Uh-oh. Bro, no. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. Bro, old, old folks, it's like, yeah, you might have more stamina. Oh, you got that old man strength, plus the experience. It's like, you're done. Yeah, he's just revealing the whole plan. So yeah, we be we be leaving folks in the dungeon so they they they, they die. So what we be doing? That's not good. That's the the sister. Yeah, I mean like folks is folks is grimy out here. Wow, oh my gosh. You gonna have to kill them. Oh damn. See no. This is all probably a ploy by the by the stone people who gave him this is like, no, we're gonna give you this power. But will you gonna lose your humanity and become like us? <laughs> like no. It's like no, you gotta kill these folks, bruh. Oh, well, y'all 
are going to die. I mean, that is the truth. It's like, yeah. It's like, oh, well, uh, violence begets violence. Yeah, the hunters become the hunted. Oh, it's going to be real violent, bruh. And then, oh, 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 the way. Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> no. Oh, God, he cut his whole head off. Oh, shit. How you feel? How you feel, Jin Woo? Oh my goodness, <laughs> Jin Woo. No, you're done. You're done. No, stop. He stop. You you <laughs> you you. Ah, oh goodness. Oh <laughs> no! Y'all are done, bro. Y'all don't even know how y'all not already done. Yes, bro. Y'all are already done. Y'all. He used the special abilities, nigga. No, yo, no, y'all are all done. Y'all are all done. No, bruh, that's not gonna do nothing. It's not gonna do nothing, bruh. Stop. Where's all of the overconfidence now? Wow. Wow. Yep. 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 Yes, he was. Yes, he did. It's freaking obvious now. What is this gonna do? Don't even mean nothing, bro. No, not he explaining it why he beating your ass, bro. Stop that! Stop that! No! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I've been getting stronger. You've been saying the same. Whoop, you figured this out too late. Well, no, 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 no. You changing the tune now. You done changed the tune. You was ready to kill him up, to kill a dude, leave him down here, harvest my body, harvest all the man and crystals. Now you begging for your life, kid. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Come on now. I'm like, come on now. Now you said this. And, <laughs> and your head is off. <laughs> and you don't have no more words to say. And now you're done. But it's time to go. Murderous intense skill. Oh. <laughs> Dang, bro. She <laughs> talking crazy. Okay, his mind somewhere else now. Okay. I'm, that's probably it. Okay. Never mind. Oh, that was his brother. My. Oh, my. Okay. So. Episode six uh, just ended, and like we done, we done moved for episode five. First, it was just folks in the dungeon getting killed. You know, monsters, you know, spiders, trolls, snakes, goblins, you know, wolves and stuff. It turned it around this episode. Jim Wu had to kill some people. He had to put some folks in the dirt. Them same folks who was trying to put him in the dirt, but. The fact that he was able to switch up so quickly, I mean, that was, that was insane. And then it was just like, no, these abilities, these abilities, yes, they can tear up some, some monsters, but they can tear up some people too. And it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter, bro. Like he can't, like dude was up here, like put his arm around him was just like talking crazy. Then Jim will come up, yeet, yeet. Get get do his whole head come off just from the little flick of this man of the wrist flick of the wrist head cut off. That was crazy. 
Then he then he just proceeded to dismantle everybody else. And then the last dude, he thought his reinforcement would help put that man face on the on by put that draw that man by the face into the ground. Then let him stand back up and then cut his head off too. Bruh. Bruh. No. Jin Wu from where he was to where he at now is incredible. And then there's still so much more to go. This man really still is at like C rank, bro. There's still B rank, A rank, S rank, bro. No, there's so many more ranks to go. And like, we still have just scratched the surface of like how powerful Jin Wu can get. Honestly, but then it's also begs the question, why is Jin Wu able to get this more powerful? I mean, like, is it a setup by this system and these people who gave him the power to maybe make him as strong enough to maybe be one day be able to actually challenge the, the folks in the dungeon and kill them? Because the, <laughs> that dude, when that man was out here and, and that face went from just stone face to that evil, creepy ass smile, bruh, no. <laughs> bruh, no. Those are the ones. It's them. They got something to do with all of this. All of this stuff. They got something to do with it because it's like, who made the dungeons? Why do they appear? Why, like, you know, what what goes into them and why do they have the connection to this world? Like, how does that even happen? So we haven't even started to begin to like uncover these questions and like they still keep popping up. So it's like, we still got to learn more about that. We still got to like learn more about some of these characters that's in there. I'm thinking that the dude that we've seen, I think that that's the uh, the chairman dude. I think that that's like, that was his brother that died in there that Jin Woo had killed. And like, I think that like now, you know, if if if, if, if it come out that, that, that uh, he's dead, then it's going to be like, oh man. But then it's also like, how did you, how was you the, the leader of the whole hunters and you let your little brother out here go out? He basically just had carte blanche to murder people because like, that's just what he was doing. Everybody knew he's like, dang, bro. Like it seemed like when you go on missions, bro, somebody always die. It's usually the weakest people. Ain't nobody asking no questions about that. But then now when, when it was done, it's like, okay, now the brother is going to start looking into it now that his brother is dead, but he didn't do nothing about it before when, when his brother was alive and allowed him to terrorize these lower rank, weaker hunters for his own gain. So what's going to come up from of, of that? And then we, I mean, and then there's the whole moral thing from Jin Woo. He was killing monsters. Now he had to kill people. And he made that decision in a, a few seconds. And then, but I mean, like he had to do it so that he could stay alive. But it was like, once he did it, he committed to it. He was like, oh, nah, if y'all got to die, y'all going to die. And y'all going to be dead. Dead, dead. Not kind of dead. Not maybe dead. Dead. <laughs> like, you know, he, he made sure to do the job, do the dang thing. They was all messed up. I don't even know if he got the man of crystals, though. And the whole the whole thing started to like uh uh crumble. So we don't even know if he gets the man of crystals uh or not. We don't know. And then like and then bro, no, not that lady, she was talking crazy. It's just like, oh, you must have just hid over in the back in the corner. And like this man with all this equipment must have been the one to really bring it home and take it and, and take it to the house. Like you ain't do nothing. You ain't do nothing but just sit over and cry and just be in the corner by yourself. Old stank ass, low ass, weak ass, E rank hunter, having ass. Like <laughs> No, the way she said it was disrespectful as hell. But it's also like, that's what folks expect from E-Rank Hunters. Like, And he was the weakest E-Rank e Hunter. The weakest one. He registered just strong enough to even be able to go into the dungeon. But regular things was kicking his ass. So, I mean, now to go from that to where he's at now, I mean, it's like a difference of night and day. So, I mean, I can't wait to see what happens with Jin Wu going forward to see you know, what, what lies in store. Um, I mean, like the next episode, uh, you know, we gonna see what episode seven brings and, or whatever. And then, you know, we gonna see what happens out of here. But, uh, uh this was a great episode. This was a, I'll be like, no, uh, uh, Jin Woo is equally dangerous to both humans and, for, uh, and, and, uh, monsters because it was just like, sometimes the monsters is the humans. And that's what we've seen in this episode. Like, 
dude like spent the last part like begging for his life it's like bro you tried to kill me three times bro you left me in the dungeon then you sent your dudes after me and then you tried to come after me but i'm supposed to give you mercy if you're like if, if i'm like, like what sense does that make when you was gonna feed me to this dang spider i was just gonna be spider food just wrapped up in a web up up up, up at the top just, just, just don't even know. Probably suffocate while you don't even know when the thing gonna eat you. Just like, mm, I'm gonna let you marinate a little bit <laughs> while I can't eat y'all. <laughs> like, like, come on now. So, I don't know, bro. I don't know. So, if we go, I don't know what's gonna happen. But like, this was a great episode, and I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, I mean, no, uh, shoot. Thank you guys for watching. Again, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on all platforms at Rogo Bros. And until next time, y'all.